Hey, this is Brandon. Today we're going to be going over how to use short codes with the various super skeleton themes. Uh, today we're going to be dealing specifically with the reason theme as an example, but this video tutorial should work for all of the different super skeleton themes. So what is a short code? A short code is just a quick and easy way to add different types of unique content to your various posts and pages. It could be a button, it could be tabbed content, it could be a table, a video, a specific you know type of uh, columnar layout. It could be pretty much anything that you guys want to add. And there's a lot of different short codes out there. Most themes bake them right into the theme. We're going to be dealing with the plugin because it allows you guys to separate the content from the theme itself. So if you guys want to switch your theme later on and you're using a lot of different short codes, you guys won't lose all of your content because it's going to be tied to the plugin, not to the theme. And that's generally a really, really good thing that you guys want to use. So to get started, let's go ahead and add that plugin that I was telling you guys about. It's free. We're going to go down to the plugins, add new directory. We're going to search. for the shortcodes ultimate plugin and it's going to pull it up right here. Shortcodes ultimate. We're going to hit install. Usually it'll take just a minute to install. All right, it's all set. Let's go ahead and hit activate. And now it's all set up. The first thing that I want you guys to do is we're going to go down to settings and go to this new shortcodes page that the plugin added for you. And I want you guys to go into the settings and click the compatibility mode if it's not already clicked. Uh, this mainly just prevents this plugin from conflicting with any other plugins or with any other themes. Uh, from here, you can also check out some of the other tabs. Uh, this is all pretty much like documentation type stuff, but it's going to help you guys understand all the different types of stuff that you guys can add if you want to add it to your theme content. So, okay, we're all installed right now. Let's show you guys how to use this. Let's go into a page and keep in mind, you can go into pages or posts when you guys want to add these short codes. Uh, let's quickly go into, oh, let's go into the short codes page. That would make sense. And I'm going to make a little bit of space right here really quickly. Uh, and what I want you guys to notice is you have a new icon now next to the media uploader for inserting your short codes. So when we click it, it's going to pop up a very quick and easy to use light box that has a drop down for all of the different short codes that you can use. Uh, there's over 30 different uh, types of short codes in here. The only two that you guys uh, can't necessarily use easily are going to be the Nevo slider and the J carousel. The reason that you can't use those is that we have another slider in all of our themes uh, that, you know, very well might conflict with it. Uh, so you guys are welcome to try these out, but I really just can't promise whether or not they're going to work perfectly with every different super skeleton theme. But the rest of these are all good to go. Uh, so for instance, if we wanted to add a video in line, we wanted it to be flexible and flex with our responsive theme. We click video. Let's go over and find a very quick uh, YouTube URL. I'm just going to use one of our own uh, test videos. I'm going to paste the URL in there. And instead of giving it a fixed pixel value, let's tell it to fill up 100% of the available width. And we're going to hit insert and we're going to hit update. And let's go ahead and quickly preview what that page looks like now. And as you can see at the very top of our page is now we have this video. The cool thing about this is because we told it to be 100%, uh, it, the video size now scales with the width of the available layout, uh, which is something that we really wanted with all of the different super skeleton themes. And this is all from this one simple short code that we added in there. Uh, as you guys uh, have probably seen in the demo, there's a lot of other short codes that I added into this page. So let's go ahead and preview what those look like. Uh, there's obviously the video. There's a responsive map viewer for Google Maps. You can include an inline Twitter feed. There's a document viewer. There's different buttons, different columns, different tables, links. There's some headline styles, highlights, different types of included quoted text. Uh, there's some tabbed content. You can add spoilers and all sorts of different stuff. Uh, so there's lots of different stuff for, uh, there for you guys to play with. Um, it's really up to you what you guys want to use. Uh, but the way that you're going to be doing it, again, is going to this little short code tab, clicking the drop down, picking what you got, uh, which one you guys want to use, inserting a couple values and hitting the insert button. And that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching this, you guys. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy using this new short code system. This has been Brandon. And if you guys have any other questions, you can check out all of our various other YouTube videos on here, or you guys can find our support forum on Tixie 
or you can look at our uh, different product threads on the theme forest. Thanks a lot, you guys. Have a good one.